So what is the go with the silver shortage? Well, in a minute, I'll show the low premium page of my dealer. I don't mention it in the video, but usually the low premium stuff is the buybacks that people sell back to this dealer, and then the dealer resells them again um, at a relatively low cost compared to the newly minted stuff. What I don't mention is that the silver buffalo that you see and the one on the right hand side of it that I call the dog kibbles, both of those are newly minted but they're so cheaply done that they are classed as low premium compared to something from Perth Mint or whatever that would be high premium. Now, the page I will show you, things have actually got worse since then. You'll see a page that has intrinsic tender buffaloes and buyback silver maple leaves, but no silver eagles. Well, the silver eagles are long gone, and as of now, the Canadian maple leaves are also gone, and so are the intrinsic tender buffaloes which were newly minted while the Canadian maple leaves were the buybacks. And they've still got the quote-unquote intrinsic tender dog kibbles up there. Um, but uh, <laughs> they're out of stock. In fact, you start looking at a lot of that page, just about everything's bloody well out of stock, except 10-ounce bars and 1-kilo bars as buybacks, and that's about it. You've got to realise something. People just go, oh, well, all they've got to do is just mine more silver. Yeah, well, it's not quite that simple. 25% of silver that comes onto the market straight out of mines comes from dedicated silver mines. 75% of all silver that is recently newly mined comes out as a byproduct, usually of chasing either lead or zinc. They get a small amount of silver as a byproduct. But that stuff that's a byproduct, sometimes they even find it when they're looking for copper or uranium. But that stuff that comes out as a byproduct is 75% of all the newly mined silver. Having said that, though, as China's stock market collapses and all the world economies start to tighten up big time and uh, whatnot, well, the demand for new stuff decreases and as a result, the commodities prices have fallen, as you may have noticed, as has oil. And, uh, well, guess what? It's pretty easy to sack people when prices of lead and zinc go crap and uh, put the mine on caretaker mode, as we call it, over here, where they only have a handful of people just making sure that basically it doesn't get flooded full of water, and that's about all they do. Um, and, well, as a result of the commodities prices of lead and zinc being low and the demand being low, they get rid of all these miners, and uh, aren't mining as much lead and zinc. And guess what? There's also not as much silver around because that 75% of silver supply has suddenly shrunk quite a bit due to the lack of lead and zinc being mined. And it puts even more strain on the supply. Oh, well. I'm going to enjoy it when it spirals out of control. If it spirals out of control, or we have a repeat of what we have with the GFC, and then I'll be able to pay my mortgage off. But anyway, without further ado, here is the page. All right, well, a mob called Illuminati Silver uh, rang up Perth Mint, and they said there's no shortage of silver. Uh, during the GFC, there was no shortage of gold shot and 1,000-ounce silver bars. Um, but the actual minted stuff, like your proper coins, it was a bit of a shortage. But apparently now there's no shortage at all. See, I've been too busy trying to...
save for me property taxes and pay me mortgage and all that. But uh, those of you, how well this is going to show, out of stock, the low premium one ounce. There's your intrinsic tender buffaloes, which I believe are even common in the United States, out of stock. There's your dog kibbles. They don't actually look anything like that. They look real shit. And I've got, I don't know, about... I've got a whole bunch of them out of stock. Maple leaf. It's the only damn thing in stock with an a Ducat button. They did have... Um, what's his name? Silver Eagles. They have just taken them off the list altogether. Even though they had the buyback Silver Eagles, they're just vaporised. They may have sold up all their Silver Eagles to somebody else, uh, to another dealer, because of the great demand for them. Um, two ants out of stock. <gasps> oh, I can get one gram gold. Yeah, $10 more than I bought it for six months ago. <laughs> Get me uh, Golden State Mint stuff, but me five ants out of stock. Two and a half gram gold out of stock. Amazingly, I can get buybacks of ten ounce silver, just so long as they're not the stacker bars that click in like the ones I showed, because they're out of stock. Five gram gold out of stock. These are all the cheapos. A lot of these are the buybacks. Um, and there are just so many that are out of stock. Half kilo bars, which they never even used to have at all. Uh, I can get some one kilo bars. I can also get a good computer that's going to scroll down one day. I can get some one ounce low premium. It's a uh, platinum, surprisingly, they're out of stock on that. That actually um, dropped in price, has dropped in price. It's usually $100 more an ounce than the gold, but as you can see, it's like 200 less, 210 less. 100 out of stock, 100 ounce silver, 50 gram gold out of stock, 2 ounce gold out of stock, 100 gram gold out of stock. <laughs> this doesn't mean it's not available, it just means that nobody's selling. Everybody's only buying. That's pretty much what it means. Uh, I'm going to silver. A lot of this stuff, like you start off with all your small stuff, and it's just ridiculously priced uh, because it's all the nicety nice stuff. Uh, I got some of them the other day. They don't look a shit like that. They actually look a lot smaller uh, than than one ounce, but they're apparently one ounce and they look a hell of a lot smaller than their little press bar one, which are one ounce. Fact is that Southern Cross Bullion is only a very small joint barely heard of, so it's likely that it's got a whole shit ton more in stock when everybody else is uh, running out and uh, we've still got a bit of a wait on the maple leaves with the... Uh, Micro laser engraving DNA, as they call it. Um, yeah, look at here. One ounce Engelhard silver bars. 36 bucks for an ounce, but they're the nice little Engelhard ones. Uh, the real classics from the Wolf of Wall Street, blooming, you know, Golden Gecko days sort of thing. And, uh, well, they're a little bit overpriced because they're such a symbolic thing. Um, if you say, oh yeah, the other oh, Perth Mint stuff here, one ounce is... No, you should only be paying about 25 26 bucks, as you will for the buyback maple leaves and whatnot. Mmm! Anyway, this is the other bizarre crap that's come out lately. Snap! It's a bit like that chocolate bar one I showed you, but um, they're like either one ounce or two ounce break-offs, not one gram break-offs. And they're actually not that bad a price. I might see if I can get some uh, at some point because they're, you know, they're uh, 
Well, it would be about 50 bucks regardless uh, anyway for a normal one. That's only like, you know, nearly 56. But they um, call themselves snap bullion because you can snap them off. It's like a giant Velcambi Swiss chocolate bar style one like I uh, showed a long while ago. Some of you guys may remember. Um, i just see if they Give us a second. There's a little angle hard five ants. I got a couple of those a while back. Um, it's not your Gordon Gecko angle hard. It's your angle hard Australia. It's your new angle hard. And uh, just give us a sec here. I'll see if I can open these up. There it is. There gives you a good idea what it's like. Comes in a little cardboard box. I've never seen any bullion come in a cardboard box, but this does. I'll see if I can find the Velcambi for you, but I don't know if they stock it anymore. There's your Barden Co. Stupid thing doesn't really want to work. Um, similar to your Velcambi, I can see. If... Here we go. There you go. This fine end get in is manufactured from gold aside by blah 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 guaranteed by blah 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 member of the London bullion market they give you a little grams of gold there that's all a um, snap out version as well gold line um, but the Velcambi's got a hell of a lot more I'll show you the elemental snap Bullion. Yeah. Here we go. It's much like the Velcambi. This one's actually five ounce, so I don't know if that's five ounce each piece. Uh, I know. No, it's a quarter ounce. The whole lot's five ounce. And you've got like one ounce per line there, and the whole lot's five ounce. Just keep looking for this good Velcambi. Nope, it seems they don't let stock Velcambi any longer. But uh, there's your big one. One kilo cast gold bar. Only about a lazy $52,000. <laughs> and there's your Pamp Swiss one. It is 52 grand. No big deal. 